Choosing the proper futures broker depends on your level of experience and trading style. As you progress as a day trader, your needs are going to change. The best option for you today may not be the best option a year down the road. As a professional trader for over 20 years, my needs are going to be much different than someone who is just getting into day trading. Experienced traders care about four things. Speed of execution, commissions, available products to trade, and security of funds. If you're a new trader, you're also going to need good support and education as well as platforms that are easy to learn. Brokerages who cater towards new traders put a lot more resources into education and support. Those resources cost money and as a result, you will typically see higher commissions. Before we get into the reviews, I want to quickly clear up any confusion you may have on the differences between introducing brokers, future commission merchants, and broker dealers. Introducing brokers are middlemen, a link between the client, you, and the trading floor. Their primary roles are to solicit, educate, and provide front-end support for traders. IBs do not receive assets or money from the client. Instead, they partner with a futures commission merchant to handle the clearing. An FCM, again, future commission merchant, accepts orders to buy or sell futures contracts, options, or forex swaps. The introducing broker introduces a client to the FCM. In return, the FCM pays a commission to the IB. You can think of the commission as a referral fee. Finally, we have broker-dealers. A broker-dealer is a financial entity that is engaged with trading securities on behalf of clients, but which may also trade for itself. A broker-dealer is acting as a broker or an agent when it executes orders on behalf of its clients and as a dealer or a principal when it trades for its own account. While this knowledge isn't going to improve your day trading, I think it's important to know where you're putting your money. There are 15 different factors I consider when scoring each broker, with the most weighted focus on commission, customer support, available products, innovation, security, and education. The highest possible broker rating is 46 points. It's important to note that I am not being compensated in any manner by any of these brokerages discussed in this video. Also, this is a review, so I had to rank the companies, yet I would feel comfortable recommending any of the brokerages to my students. With that said, let's get into the reviews. Scoring 36 out of a possible 46 points and coming in at number 3 on my list is Optimus Futures. Optimus is an introducing broker. When you sign up, you will have the option to choose from six different FCMs, including Iron Beam, ADM, Philip Capital, Stonex, Wedbush, and TradeStation. Your commission pricing, intraday margin requirements, and minimum account size will vary depending on the FCM you choose when you open your account. These are always changing, so make sure to ask your representative for a breakdown. Optimus has been around for a long time and provides a lot of education material on their blog and YouTube channel. They white label Quant Tower, which is a powerful order flow trading platform. Their lowest commission structure currently is 25 cents per micro contract per side if you're trading indices and drops considerably the more volume that you trade. This is if you choose Iron Beam as your FCM when you sign up, whose minimum account size is $500. When you trade futures, in addition to paying a commission to your broker, you will also have to pay an exchange fee of $0.37 cents per micro contract per side, an NFA fee of $0.02, cents, and an execution feed fee of $0.10. Cents. So all in, you would be looking at $0.72 cents per side per micro contract if you're trading something like the Micro E-Mini S&P 500, which is what we will use for all of our comparisons. Again, these are constantly changing, so make sure to ask your rep for a breakdown before choosing your FCM. Scoring 37 out of 46 points and coming in number 2 on my list is EdgeClear. Honestly, I think Optimus and EdgeClear are pretty much a tie. I decided to give EdgeClear the edge, no pun intended, due to the fact that they were a disruptor when they entered the industry a few years back with their aggressive commission structure, which forced all the others to follow suit. The founder of a company was a professional trader, which I think gives the company a unique insight of what day traders really need and want. Low commissions, a solid trading platform, and education. EdgeClear white labels Motive Wave, which is a trading platform I have personally been using for the past several years. A lot of my students use EdgeClear and have nothing but good things to say. You have three choices for an FCM, including Philip Capital, Dorman, or Ironbeam. Currently, their best commission structure starts at $0.22, cents, which would be $0.69 cents per side, all in. If you can't decide between the two, I would demo both Quant Tower and Motive Wave and make your decision based on which platform you prefer. Scoring 42 out of possible 46 points and coming in first place is Interactive Brokers. IB is a broker-dealer versus Optimus and EdgeClear, which are both introducing brokers. I opened my first account with IB in 2004, 
and I believe they've been the best broker out there for a professional trader since that time. I care about four things, execution, commissions, available products, and security of funds. IB has been the leader on this front for the past 20 years. IB has always run their company conservatively, and I'm confident my money is safe. IB currently exceeds $12.7 billion in equity capital, over $9 billion in excess of regulatory requirements. Pair that with the most competitive commissions in the industry and a huge selection of products to trade, and you have the best futures broker in my opinion. On micros, you're going to pay around $0.50 cents per contract per side. I have to mention that IB does not offer lower margin requirements for intraday like the FCMs provide through EdgeClear or Optimus. They have no minimum account size, but again, they don't offer intraday margin. For example, if you want to trade one micro e-mini S&P 500 contract, you would need to maintain a balance above roughly $1,200 currently. You can find margin requirements on the CME's website, link in the description of this video. I want to warn you that the leverage offered by the FCMs through EdgeClear and Optimus are way too high. In my opinion, this is one of the main factors that contributes to the absurdly high failure rate for retail day traders. It's also important to mention that you will have to make a decision on a data feed regardless of who you go with. If you don't know anything about market data feeds, watch the video I did which will clear up any confusion. Link in the description of this video as well. To wrap it up, if you like this video, help me out and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. In doing so, I promise to produce videos that I'm confident will help you on your path to becoming a successful day trader. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.